and welcome to part three of the Linmot AOP AOI integration. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off last time and start making some movement with the Linmot axis. You can see our initial housekeeping bits, the switch on, switch off, error acknowledge at home. Below that, I'm going to create a jump subroutine command. And then a new routine for our movement AOIs. Our next step is to import the movement AOIs we will use in this video. First up is the LM underscore MAM or basic point to point move. Next will be the LM underscore MASC or Linmot start command table. And lastly, the LM underscore ATC or run time curve from within the Linmot drive. The first AOI we see in action is the MAM command. And this is structured similar to the native MAM command in that we have a move type of zero for absolute, one for incremental, a position, which is going to be a distance in millimeters, a speed in millimeters per second, and an axel and decel rate of millimeters per second squared. Lastly, the profile. Three represents a sine move in our first block, and one represents a trapezoidal move. Now we can download the program to the controller and test out our new code. Pulled up Linmot Talk for a comparison, and we have our webcam again in the bottom right. We're already in operation enabled state, so I can simply toggle the bit to the MEM command, and we make the motion. You can see that I've included the trigger for the second MEM command as the process complete bit from the first. Now we'll return to Studio 5000 and add a stop command for our little sequence. First up is importing the AOI, and then adding the runs and controller bits. The decel rate is the same in millimeters per second squared, so a number like 20,000 is reasonable for our system. Now back to Linmot Talk in the webcam and we can watch the motor extend and then stop on the retract move. Once we stop, you will notice the actual and demand position are set to the same value, but the Linmot doesn't apply any more current to hold this position. Now I'll add a small bypass on our retract move so I can manually send it back to zero. The AOI will only start on a false to true transition, so I have to clear the previous process complete bit before retracting. Now we can add the other two AOIs we imported earlier. First up is the LMMASC, and that is the start command table command. It references the same axis, and then a command table ID the command table is stored within the Linmot drive. Here we are starting on line 7 and going through a basic movement sequence to 150 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and then 0 millimeters with a dwell between each move. Next up we have the LMMATC or run time curve. Here I'm pulling up the curve as it's stored in the Linmot drive. In this instance, we make three short moves and then a quick retract. The values we add to this AOI are the curve ID within Linmot Talk, the offset in millimeters, and amplitude and time scale as a percentage. Once we download our changes to the program, we can test out these moves.
when we toggle the bit. The linmot drive runs the command table sequence we programmed earlier. And you will notice the lmmasc block doesn't have a process complete bit because control is passed over to the linmot drive. Lastly, we have the lmmatc, which is activated the same as the others. Join us for the final part in this series, where we run a brief sequence and check parameters in the drive. Thank you for watching.